Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial results you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that will set you up for success this growing season. Today we're going to talk about corn planting depth. One of the questions I always get from growers is, what is the, the proper depth that I should plant corn? Well, if we go to the PTI farm, you know, one of the things we do is we do planting depth studies. And most of the time, I'll be very honest with you, I like to plant corn two inches in depth. I'm really not uh, too excited about planting corn much shallower than two inches. So if I look at two inches in planting depth, if that's where I want to set my rooting structure of corn, that's where I, I, I think most of the time I can be at moisture. That's one of the things we got to look at. We got to stop and we got to dig and we got to go and see if that seed is in fact placed at moisture, even at that two inches. I remember when I was a kid, I was riding with my dad in the planter tractor and one of the things I asked him at a very young age, I said, Dad, how deep are we supposed to plant corn? And he didn't give me a, a, you know, a two inch depth or inch and three quarter. He didn't tell me that. What he told me was, well, it depends. It's got to be planted in moisture. And so he would take me out in the field and we'd dig and he'd show me, yes, we are planting at two inches, but look how we are at the moisture line. And for any seed, I don't know that it matters what crop you're planting, all seeds take moisture to germinate. So when we talk about corn planting depth, we got to make sure seeds planted into moisture. So let me take you to the PTI farm this past year in 2019. Here's the particular study where I planted at various corn planting depths and I went as shallow as one inch. Now I know that we're not going to do this on purpose in, in a real world situation, but that's what PTI is about. We learn from the mistakes that we do. I planted in an inch shallow and then I took it all the way to three inches. So in my opinion, that's too deep. But if you look at the data here, three inch planted corn actually showed up the best. And I'll be honest with you, I struggle with this data, or at least I have in the past, when I look at planting depth data and see something like this where the deepest planting depth won, I, I've struggled with it in the past because it didn't give me any data to go along with it to tell me what happened. So let's dive into this particular plot and, and find out what happened. Now I'm not interested in the inch or inch and a half planting depth. Those are too shallow. I'm not worried about them. However, I do think a lot of you folks are planting two, two and a half, and maybe sometimes three, inch, three inches depending on moisture. But let's dive into those three planting depths and let's find out what happened in this planting depth study. Now, envision this. I'm at the PTI farm. I'm sitting in the planter tractor and I start planting corn. The 2020 is, is indicating to me that I'm planting corn at two inches in depth but I'm only running 18% furrow moisture. Now that's, that's significant because one of the things that we can do now with the technology we have at Precision Planting is we can take a look at the furrow that we're planting our seed into and evaluate how much moisture we have at planting depth. We're doing that with Smart Firmer. Uh, Smart Firmer is technology that we can actually measure the amount of moisture at planting depth to help us and truly know are we planting our seed into moisture. So here's a little video of what it looks like as, as smart firmers working for us. Again, you're in the cab of the tractor, you're not doing any, any other work, you're not stopping the tractor, going back and digging. Smart firmers going to work for you while you're planting and sending, reporting furrow moisture values into the cab in your 2020. And you can actually see, are you planting into moisture? So let's go back to our planting, planting depth study. We're planting at two inches in smart firmer is telling us that we're at 18% furrow moisture. You as a grower are wondering, is that enough moisture? Our R&D department at Precision Planting has done tons of research, and what we found out is that we think 30% furrow moisture is where we need to be to get adequate germination. 30%. Let's go back to our planting depth study. At two inches, I'm at 18%. It's telling me that I'm planting corn into two dry of soils. So what would you do? You're planting corn, you're sitting in the planter tractor, the 2020's barking at you, alarms and whistles are going off, say, hey, you're planting corn into dry dirt, what would you do? Maybe go deeper? Well, that's what I did in this particular study. I went back to the planter. Now, I don't have T-handles like, like a lot of growers have. Here's the T-handle on the back of the planter that allows us to control depth, okay? We put smart depth on one of our research planters. This is where we remove the T-handle and we use this, this motor 
to shallow up or go deeper with our plenty depth. So we're, again, we're eliminating the T-handle using this motor so we can actually set this in a manual or automa automated mode to move for us to move deeper or go shallower. This is what it looks like on our research planner with 16 of, of smart depth modules on this planner. Again, removing those T-handles and going to an automated version where we can move these either from the cab manually or actually having it work in conjunction with smart firmware to change automatically. So, we were at 18% furrow moisture at two inches. We said we were gonna go deeper. How do we do it? We go back to our 2020 screen in the cab of the tractor. We go to our smart depth button where it shows us how deep we're planning. And we can actually put presets in. And here, this is in a manual setting, but we can put presets in of how deep we are actually wanting to plant. So I went from two inches and said, let's go two and a half. Because again, we were planting into dry dirt. We need to get to that moisture line. We go back to the field, we're planting away. Smart Firmer is working for us at two and a half inches depth, and it's telling me I'm a 27% for a moisture. Again, R&D, you know, we, we found that we need to be real close to 30%. We're not there yet. What do we do? I said, if we're not to moisture, let's go a little bit deeper. And so we went to our 2020, to our smart depth modules on the planner, and we said, let's go from two and a half inches in depth to three inches. Now we're at that three inch depth, Smart Firmer goes to work for us while we're planting and says we finally reached over that 30% threshold. We're actually at 38% moisture. But you see what we're doing in real time. We're measuring, sending data into the cab so you as a grower, you as the one planting, running that, that corn planter can realize if you're planting into moisture. And if you look at just these three depths, we go from two inches to three inches, three settings, and there was almost an eight bushel difference between those three settings and you look at the economics of it, almost $30 an acre. Now, if you look at the yields on this particular study, we were still running 240 bushel corn at that, at that low moisture reading. But look how we ramped up to almost 250 bushel by just having adequate moisture, uniform moisture. Again, making sure that every plant has the opportunity uh, to be uniform. I want to take you back to 2018 because what we just talked about was 19. I like looking at multiple years and looking at different stories. Um, 2018 was interesting. Two inch planting depth actually did the best for me in this particular trial. As I shallowed up planting, I lost yield. And I understand that, okay? By going shallower, I think we run the risk of losing yield potential. The one thing that really stood out to me in this particular plot was, if you look at the line, the green line running at the top of the screen, it shows furrow moisture. And we're at, we're at or above 40% furrow moisture, remember? We need to be at 30%, so we're over the threshold. And look what happened where we had adequate moisture, 40 plus percent furrow moisture. As we planted deeper from that two inch optimum planting depth, we lost yield. And guys, this is what I'm talking about. I've never had anybody tell me if I have adequate furrow moisture and I plant too deep with that situation, I'm going to lose yield. In, in this particular case, that's exactly what happened. So I'm not saying this is gonna happen for every field, but at least you with having the measurements on your, on your soils, understanding planting depth, you can see some yield potential losses or gains by being able to, to, to figure out where does planting depth need to be in relationship to how much moisture we have at planting depth. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is corn planting depth depends on moisture. We need to put every seed into adequate moisture to get off to the best start possible. Well, that's all the time we have for today. For more information or questions, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer or email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. In the meantime, thanks for watching.